in contradiction and paradox, you can find truth. Paradoxes resemble the scientific essence of contradiction. The Fermi Paradox is one of the most puzzling paradoxes out there that pushes us into the existence of extraterrestrial life. Yet, what if, say, that our scientists have finally solved it? But that's not all, as what awaits you is not good news. In this video, we'll take you through the Fermi Paradox and the findings behind it that might just leave you in astonishment. This is a video you don't want to miss out on. Humanity has always been on a search for extraterrestrial life with the hope of communicating with another civilization. In the present, we've identified over 5,000 exoplanets, and with the help of powerful observatories like the James Webb Space, this number is simply expected to increase. Well, locating a planet with promising conditions is not a guarantee for the presence of alien life. During man's search for alien life, one of the most striking paradoxes ever faced is indeed the Fermi Paradox. Well, what exactly is this paradox that's being claimed to be solved? The Fermi Paradox seeks to answer the question regarding where the aliens are. Compared to the rest of our universe, the solar system is young, an approximate age of 4.5 billion compared to 13.8 billion. This paradox is named after prize-winning physicist Enrico Fermi, who was behind the infamous points he had created during a casual lunchtime conversation in 1950. His lunchtime conversation has now risen to perplexion among astrobiologists and other scientists in the decades since. So, Fermi famously asked, where are they? Representatives of the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence SETI Institute in Mountain View, California, wrote Fermi grasps that any civilization with a modest amount of rocket technology and an immodest amount of imperial incentive could rapidly colonize the entire galaxy. Representatives also wrote, within a few tens of millions of years, every star system could be brought under the wing of empire. Tens of millions of years may sound like a long project, but in fact it's quite short compared to the age of the galaxy, which is roughly a thousand times more. After Fermi died in 1954, the exploration of this idea was transferred to other people, such as Michael Hart, who wrote an article titled An Explanation for the Absence of Extraterrestrials on Earth in the Royal Astronomical Society Quarterly Journal in 1975. According to some, this is the initial paper to explore the Fermi Paradox. Hart had written in the paper's abstract that we observe that no intelligent beings from outer space are now present on Earth. He adds, it is suggested that this fact can be explained by the hypothesis that there are no other advanced civilizations in our galaxy. He also conveyed his opinion that more detailed research in biochemistry, planetary formation, and atmospheres was essential to narrow down this priceless answer. Hart put forward his arguments, and one of them was that intelligent aliens could already have visited Earth at some point in our planet's history, unless they began their journey less than two million years ago. According to him, the apparent lack of such visits from aliens is most likely due to the lack of intelligent beings apart from humans. But he wasn't done with the potential explanations. He argued that aliens never came here because of a physical difficulty. They simply chose not to visit us. Advanced civilizations apart from Earth had risen very recently for them to reach us. Or extraterrestrial beings have already visited Earth in the past, but we've not observed them. 1980. Frank Tipler, a professor of physics at Tulane University, followed up on Hart's argument through a paper titled Extraterrestrial Intelligent Beings Do Not Exist, which was published in the RAS Quarterly Journal. The paper dealt with the method by which we can get resources for interstellar travel. He suggested that this could be achieved by a kind of self-replicating artificial intelligence that could move from star system to star system, creating copies of itself during its travels. Well, no evidence of such advanced machinery has ever been found on Earth, but that stops the probability of the creation of one in the future with a hike in people adopting artificial intelligence. But Tipler also argued that humans are most probably the only intelligence out there. He'd also written in the 1980 paper that those who believe in extraterrestrial intelligence are similar to UFO enthusiasts, because according to him, both camps believe that we are going to be saved from ourselves by some miraculous interstellar intervention. The intriguing topic of extraterrestrial intelligence is constantly gaining popularity, leading to the appearance of a plethora of papers from different research groups. Fermi had made his famous remark that only planets scientists knew about were located in our solar system. 
But with more than 5,000 confirmed exoplanets, things have now taken quite a big steer. This jaw-dropping number of alien worlds suggests that intelligent life could indeed exist throughout the cosmos. But sometimes, what you search for in the deep universe might just be in our solar system. Studies conducted on Earth have revealed that microbes can survive even in extreme environments. This suggests that microbial life may even exist on Mars, Europa, Enceladus, or even the giant Saturn satellite Titan. The problem is that we haven't yet explored any of those worlds nearly well enough to know for sure. However, the Fermi paradox hints at something much bigger than microbes. And to solve it, we need to know how commonly life evolves on alien planets and how often it gains the ability and the desire to communicate with other intelligent life forms. Speaking of solving it, let us go back to 1961, when Frank Drake, an American astronomer, created a simple equation to estimate the number of intelligent civilizations in our galaxy using certain rough approximations. According to Drake's calculations, there were at least 1,000 and perhaps as many as 100 million extraterrestrial civilizations just in the Milky Way. But these numbers are highly disputed for life to sustain a planetary solar system with gas giants far from the Sun and rocky planets closer in plate tectonics and volcanoes is necessary. This would help in creating a suitable atmosphere. Also, the need for a large moon that causes tides cannot be compromised. Well, research began by studying how human civilizations rose and fell throughout history. They also studied the history of large cities. And even there, they noticed that most grew to a certain point and later collapsed. They were successful in developing a hypothesis that suggested such rising and falling by alien space civilizations would lead to one of two scenarios. In the initial scenario, the civilization was growing way too large and would stop traveling to or colonizing other worlds. In the second scenario, they would not recognize their folly and thus would result in their collapse. Well, according to our perspective, both these scenarios hint that they have the same outcome. The aliens would not visit us or even demonstrate evidence of their existence. The distance from them to us would be way too far. According to the researchers, their hypothesis was superlinear scaling, where a civilization grows exponentially, colonizing other worlds until they become unable to sustain the energy demand of its constant encroachment. Well, if they had not taken action, they would have reached a singularity, which is a point of no return, at which they could not save their civilization from collapse. Well, how difficult paradoxes might be to solve, scientists have come up with solutions to them. One among them is that since intelligent life is developed on Earth, and there are billions of Earth-like planets, humans have every reason to believe that intelligent life could have developed on those planets as well. The solutions do not end here, as scientists have also formed a solution that states that after several million years of technological progress, an alien civilization would most likely have the technology to travel to other stars and galaxies. This means that in less than 100 years, we could indeed expect an extraterrestrial encounter. You might not want to ignore the fact that after all, humans went from traveling in covered wagons to landing on the moon. Well, others support the statement that given another few million years, an alien civilization could colonize an entire galaxy. The Fermi paradox is indeed a perplexing one, and different researchers provide different solutions, with one stressing alien encounters and the other stating otherwise. So, which one of those solutions do you think holds? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that we can entertain you with more videos from the cosmos.